stream in as many days. I told you we are back. We're playing some Red Dead 2. Um, back playing this. We played it yesterday. We got about an hour in. Um, I think we're about to do the train robbery, which I thought would be a good way to open up the second stream. Decided to do that. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Very excited. Hoping there's no lag today, but you know, with my shitty internet, you never know. But let's get into it. We're just waiting for the game to load up. You know how it be? You know how it be sometimes. You know what we do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stream for a little bit today. Um, SmackDown's on tonight. The Hall of Fame's on tonight because it's WrestleMania weekend. This is going to be the only time I'm going to stream until Monday. Because of said WrestleMania weekend. But we are going to get into it. And we are going to have a great time streaming today. Probably going to stream for a little bit. Uh, it's about 4.30 right now. SmackDown starts at 7 my time. My dad coming over. Um, so yeah, probably stream for about an hour, hour and a half. Maybe two hours. Probably two hours at this point. Is the up. I'm not going to go over two hours for today. And then we will upload this video on YouTube. The first part is already on YouTube if you missed the first part of the stream. And we will get going with that now. But I think we're going to have a cutscene as we're loading in here. So let's see if that happens. Don't want to talk during the cutscenes because this game has some amazing cutscenes. If it ever loads. Here we go. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rights. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Parker. I think it's time for the train. You want me to go? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Thanks. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of that. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower. Just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Okay, I obviously don't want to get into spoilers for this game, for obvious reason. But, playing this game back, it's just so obvious to see how stupid Dutch is. Like, why would you do this? There's no... I mean, it's fun, because we're in the game, but there is no reason to be doing this, risking your crew's life for a train. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, listen up. Get that cinematic camera rolling. Into the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what 
We're after Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. See, this is a hard game to stream sometimes. I mean, not really. But there is just so much dialogue going on. And it's fine, because it's great dialogue. But it's like we're just watching the game, you know? But yeah, we're gonna stream for a little bit today. Um, looks like we caught a snag on the thing. Now yeah, we look fine now. Got a little lag for a minute. It's like fine. You know how it is with the internet. Sometimes the internet's kind of shit. No, Micah, can you stop asking the same fucking question? You've asked it like six times. And we've been playing this game for probably two hours. Can you get the fuck out of my way, Charles? God. Shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the Yeah, I know, Dutch. I see it. Yeah, what a game. Still there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Go check on Bill. Oh no. Yeah. Bill's a cool guy, but uh, he's probably dropped on his head as a child, let's say. How you getting off? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, okay, let me sure. pick up the uh, spool. Spool, the wire and spool then not spool. Gosh. Guess it's one of those days where I can't talk for some reason. That's what happens when you run off three hours of sleep and energy drinks. You forget how to talk like a normal person. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's cut the wire and connect okay. it. Surely nothing could go wrong with this, right? All right. That should do. You, head back you got it from here? I have a feeling you don't, but all right. All right, let's go, buddy. I have a strong feeling you do not have it from here, Bill. But, you know. Have to do what the game directs me to do. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Yes, we will soon find out. I think so. I have my suspicions okay. though, Bill. Cover your faces. Train should be here in a minute now. Oh, the bandanas go so unbelievably hard. Thank you to everybody currently watching the stream. Gentlemen, if you don't time. know what we're playing, we're playing Red Dead 2. 
Uh, right now we're robbing a train. Good luck. Call you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Oh, what? No way. No way. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. No way Bill did not work. It's almost like I called it because I knew what was going to happen. I'm kind of smart. I'm kind of smart that way. This doesn't seem safe to me, just jumping on a train like that. But I guess... I guess it's fine. I mean... It's not going that fast. Lenny, if you drop off, you'll be fine. But I guess I'll pull you up. <laughs> why, did he, why did he stand there for a minute and just wait? Wait. <laughs> he just stood there and waited to pick Lenny up. He didn't even do it right away. He's like, oh, I'll just stand here. Damn, Lenny, shit. Stop this train? What is this, a fucking John Mayer song? Yes, you go. Okay. Hey. <laughs> he didn't even kill him! He didn't even stab bro, he just pushed him off the fucking train! <laughs> Dang. Dang, apparently I got one bullet for each of you. That's all I can afford. That's all that was in the budget this year. <laughs> I'm taking everybody out with one bullet. Alright, let's walk ominously past this thing. I'm sure nothing bad can happen. Yeah, I'm sure nothing... Can I see him? Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, fuck. Boom. Boom. Whoa. Is he gonna throw him? <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> Even with how many times I played this fucking game, I, I still laugh at that shit. I still fucking think that, uh... I still forget that that happens. What?! Dude just took a bullet to his head. He ate that shit. He ate that shit too. That shit's right. Ooh, bye bye. Still okay? Think so. Good. I don't know. I probably killed about eight people. Lenny, Lenny, can you get the fuck out of my way? Thanks, Lenny. Oh, bye bye. Arthur, get over here. You two oh, Arthur. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellers hold up in this last car. Yes. Got some fellers what hold up in the last car. On doing in there? We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are Five opening this on deck. Wake him up a little. Wake him up a little. This 
Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Ooh, that flip was so clean. But you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. No, I'm just gonna shoot it. Come on. We didn't want to rob your boss. Get on out. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> of course Micah wants to be the first fucking fucking person in there. What an asshole. Why do I have to press triangle to get up on the train? I can't just jump up in there. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, no, it's not, it's a room, bro. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. He's keen. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. There. Fine, I'll read these for you guys. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansburg are simply fake and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways. So I can cer certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ansburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Sorry, I would read that other letter, but now I don't have a... Or I actually do have a way to get into it. Um, here. Here we go. This is the one we didn't read. All right. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive the payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapati Indian Reservation Ambrano, as we agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, and tar in the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898. On the receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases these just seem to be two and three of the project and present you with a detailed reports of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, head of accounts, Leland Oil Development Company. I have such a soothing voice, don't I? I should, should be a reader. Should, should just do a podcast where I just straight up read things. I only found the railroad bonds. Sorry guys, sorry it took me a minute. I have to I had to read to my audience. I know you guys don't know what it's like to have fans, but I had to read to my fans. Ooh, pocket watch and a cigar. Yes, you're waiting on me. All two of us. Yes, yes. Uh, th thank you for the, thank you for the reminder of my failing, uh, my failings as a streamer. Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Well, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. What would when Arthur do back, here? We'll be moving on. <laughs> the rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. 
If it, if you, 2016 and gets 11 views max. Well, I mean, I've been streaming for about, um, what? Probably about six months, so. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I feel too bad about killing all these guys in this merciless fucking way I've been doing this because apparently I can't fucking um do anything um so we're gonna on out on accident um so we are just gonna reload the save and if we have to do the whole mission over again oh well I'm kind of an idiot it's not like I got anything to do for the next hour. So we're going to sit through this loading screen for about 10 minutes because that's how Red Dead 2 likes to operate. Watch, it's going to be us jumping on the fucking train again. I'm not reading those letters again if we have to do this whole thing. Nah, just kill everybody? See, I would, but I want to get the good ending of this game, so we kind of have to... Um, we kind of have to play nice here, and I, we have to do the whole fucking mission over again? Uh, oh my god, no rights. fucking way. Um, yeah, I want to get the good ending of this game, because the good ending of this game is far superior than the bad ending, and, um, I'm just gonna talk through this cutscene since we already saw it, but, the good ending of this game is far superior, uh, which I've said four times now, but... I don't remember for a fact if there is a karma reset in this game. Because like in Fallout New Vegas, which is one of the best games of all time, better than Fallout 3, um, better than Fallout 4 for sure, um, New Vegas has a karma reset when you get to the strip. I don't think this game has a karma reset. It might at Guarma, but I don't think it does. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I am aware that's how the game ends, but um, I'd rather have him, that happen in the good way than the bad way, you know? The ending of this game already makes me emotional enough as it is. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke. No, the stream's lagging. He's a big. Sorry, the stream likes to lag sometimes because I have shitty internet, but um, it is pretty rare nowadays. Ever since I got a new browser, it's been pretty rare. I'm sorry, it's <laughs> I'm sorry, it's gonna take us about 40 minutes to do this first mission because I decided to start it over again like an absolute fucking idiot. But. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I can name the YouTube VOD, um, something about the train robbery now, because it's going to take up most of the stream. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrissers, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there. Yeah, yeah. Advantage. Arthur is a good guy. But not if I play the game the way you're telling me to play it, right? Just fucking shoot all the all the witnesses for no reason. Micah! Get the fuck out of my way! I don't even think that was Micah. You head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan Frey. Have you got a problem with that? Also, for all the new viewers, which basically you just means you. Yourself, huh? 
Um, I scream a lot when this game when games make me angry. It's especially prevalent in Assassin's Creed when I play those games, but it will also probably be prevalent in this game too. Because I get very angry very easily. Not like generally, just at video games for some reason. They make me so angry. Hey, it's almost like we saw this uh, five minutes ago when we did this the first time. Call of Duty makes you uh, yell, yeah, um, I stopped playing Call of Duty because it made me so angry. Also because the MW3 remake sucked. The last COD game I bought was the MW2 remake, and it was actually pretty fun. Um, I had a glitch that literally would not let me complete one of the missions in the story mode, so I never beat the story mode. But, um... Modern, the Modern Warfare 2 remake was pretty fun. Um, the COD game I've had the most fun with, other than like, if I run into a fucking tree again. No, I'm just um, the COD game I had the most fun with, uh, other than Black Ops 2, but you know, obviously I'm a little too. I'm only 20, so I didn't get in on the Black Ops 2 hype when it was around. Um, I didn't play Black Ops 2 for the first time until probably like 2014, 2015, when I was in middle school, um, because my parents didn't let me, because I was 9 when it came out, but, um, I, what am I trying to say? The first COD game I remember playing at release is Infinite Warfare, or maybe it was no, not ghosts. I do want another zombies. But I'm kind of talking in circles here. The COD game I remember having the most fun with is um, Cold War. Because that came out when I was in sophomore year of high school, I think. It came out during COVID, I believe. Um, so I played a lot of that. We're not going to do cinematic camera while we're walking. Um... I played so much Cold War with my friends during COVID that that's the COD game I um, definitely put the most hours into. Um, I remember maxing out the AK-47 in like literally like three weeks. Arthur, how the fuck are you already winded? You, you fucking ran like three feet. Um, but, yeah. I played the most of that. And then we... Can I help a little? Yes. Can we fucking right. do this shit real quick? So... I don't have to do it again. But yeah, um... Okay, sure. I played mostly that. The it to said <sighs> Cod Ghost? But I don't remember playing that game at launch. Um... I think I might have. I might have got it for Christmas that year, and that was the first Call of Duty game I ever played. Because Ghost came out in 2013, right? I think so. If, if Ghost came out in 2013, then Ghost was the first Call of Duty game I played at launch. Because I wasn't allowed to play Black Ops 2, but by the time Ghost came out, I played Ghost. So I think Ghost might have been the first Call of Duty game I played, and then Infinite Warfare, and then... I lost the series... Um, I lost the series because I didn't have a PS4 till like, literally 2018. So I lost the series for a bit. Also, I know the fucking, um... Right now the game looks like shit. It's so fucking grainy. But I don't have a way to fix that. So I guess you guys just have to sit through grainy film. <laughs> Are they just fucking running up the... Wait! Wait! Why did I fucking... Why did I run down here in the first place when I had a fucking horse? Okay, Ghost came out in 2013? Okay, okay yeah. Then I played Ghost when it came out. <laughs> what is happening? This is such a shit show. 
Hold the weapon wheel, put on your bandana. All right, all right. This grainy filter is really bad. I think I might end up calling the stream quits at after Gentlemen, um, time. after this mission because the grainy is so fucking bad. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. But yeah, we still got a little um. 40 minutes streaming. Uh, no, no way, Bill fucked up again? You gotta be kidding me. Where did you find that more who said it was fine? So it's my fault. And this, so it's my fault. Yes, you know yes, Arthur. It actually is your fault because you're the one who fucking um connected the spools. Should I pull Lenny up or not? Nah? You're slipping. Too fucking bad. I almost just let him fucking fall. Oh, really? That makes sense. That actually does make kind of sense. Not if you could. Can you not fall off the train, Arthur? Yeah, you take him. Uh, you cover. Okay. Arthur is not stealthy. I would not be surprised if I fuck this up. <laughs> I came so close to fucking that up. I guess I did fuck it up. <laughs> How bad is the video quality right now? Like, is it so atrocious that I have to stop streaming after this mission? Or did it kind of revert back to being somewhat decent? Is there a way I can just, like, shoot this guy? No, I guess I can't. <laughs> yeah, I have it on 720p, 60 FPS. But, when, so the way I have my setup is I just look at it at my computer, uh, off my computer. I can see it's super grainy. So I don't know if that's just my computer or if it's the stream, but you know, it's fine. No big deal, no biggie. Alright. Let's do this shit quickly. Must be the pewter, alright. Yeah, as long as I'm doing fine. That's all that matters. Oh, get domed. Get domed, buddy. Get fucked. You too, get fucked. Also, sorry, I don't know if you guys realized I have, like, the worst... Taylor's mouth all the time. Boop. Alright. Okay? You doing so okay? Good. Yep, get out of here. Get out of here, little boy. We're just trying to run away. How are you still alive? Join the club. I will join the club. Oh, good fight.
two, all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas. Let's get the money and go. Yes. Yeah, what are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Seems our friends have gone deaf. Let's wake them up a little. Wake up a little. Kind of feels like deja vu. I feel like we've done this before, right? Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step Seems back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Charles, move. Come on, get out. Can you guys just fucking move so I can get in the train? Lenny, get the fuck out of here. I will put three bullets in you. Actually, I won't. I love you, Lenny. Micah, I will fucking put 90 bullets in you. Look at this place. And piece of shit. It's like a Alright, um, oh, we'll collect them, I'll but I'm not gonna read the letters again. Be easy as cake. You have a feeling I'm pushing my dozenth dozen playthrough. This is a really long game. I don't think I've played it that many times. This is probably about my fourth or fifth playthrough. Like, all the way through. I've started this game probably six or seven times. But I think I've only finished it about four or five. Which is still a lot for how long this game is. But, you know, yes, I have probably put over, I've probably put about 500 hours into this game, honestly. Rookie numbers? Alright, how many times have you beat this game? I have other games I play, this isn't the only game I'm restricted to. Alright, let me search, let me search the desk. Uh, ooh, premium cigarettes, I need some of those. Bill stack. Sheesh. Am I done yet? No. I'm doing shit. Give me a minute. These people need to get off my fucking dick. I'm doing shit here. I'm doing shit. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? <laughs> oh, None. Sure. That, that, that's Air fair. Yeah, that is a pretty sad easily. mission. It gets a whole lot oh, sadder, though. You we actually played that mission last night yeah, at, like, literally 2 a.m. when we were streaming last night. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Should I uh, kill these guys, feel bad, and then start when the mission back, again, folks? We'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Let's ride. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas? I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. I won't tell a soul, I swear! Said quick! Dude, get on the fucking train, bro. Arthur just running. Arthur's running a fucking 40 yard dash right now. That's what he's doing. Arthur's fucking scouting for the combine. Is this my hat? No. Is it? 
I don't know. We'll pick up my hat at camp. Yep, we're back at camp. Back, back. We're going back, 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 back to camp, to camp, to camp, to camp. hellhole we're gonna try weather seems stable and we just robbed the leviticus cornwall train we got money in our pockets the worst is behind money us. in our pockets so the question is where now i know this country a little i told you we should set up camp in horseshoe overlook near valentine we'll be able to hide out there no problem as long as we keep our noses clean <laughs> well then let's go clean noses and everything else arthur you're in that one bring hosea I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. That's what you get when you when you follow the stream. You get get, over here. get some yes, good ass vocals. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. You get the crazy vocals on stream. Let's hold to match speed. Let's not drive off the road. What's up time? 45 minutes. Almost exactly. 40, 44 minutes and 57 seconds. Huh? Ah, motherfucker! Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I broke the goddamn yeah, wheel. All right, Charles, you and me hold the. You know, Arthur up. broke the goddamn wheel. On, you still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. Roll the wheel, roll the wheel. Say less. Pick the wheel up. Let's bash that wheel back into place. You're See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Them. Poor bastards. 
We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, <coughs> get in. I'll tell you. Thank you to everybody currently watching the stream, even though it's like nobody. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartland you're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. <laughs> Calling Arthur blockheaded no, while true is also Never crazy. Forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. Shit, my bad, didn't mean to run into that. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while, a number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. Maybe a little a older. A delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah. It is a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. no. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards <laughs> down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. Zay, can you just... A little. I've been through a couple of times. Zay, can you just give us a straight answer whenever we ask you a damn question about Valentine. Like, can you just like be like, yeah, yeah, that's the way we going, we going the right way. You don't need to turn it into some fucking like philosophical shit, my guy. Pinkertons, let's hope not. In this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Valentine. No horseshoe overlook. I'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way All right, I guess we can go this way. Always it's telling happen. us we can now. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. A hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. <laughs> Dude, this mission takes forever. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Ginseng and yarrow. Yarrow and ginseng, ginseng and yarrow. Bum 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 bum. Head in there, follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. You gonna jump on here? You gonna 
Stay in there, or what's going on, Javier? Buddy, okay, Bucko, boy. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will Excellent. Work Dude, Arthur is whipping right that shit, trying to get uphill with a ba, ba, skilly ba. about an hour are, when are you gonna stream next Monday 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 uh, got, all, got all weekend off we're doing some stuff for WrestleCon all that stuff um, like I said yesterday working with some great people who are way more talented than I am for now now it is time to prosper Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater we were on to something big then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and here we are we have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are... Safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for Robin Banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. Sorry boys, I just got my work schedule for next week and it's absolutely dog shit. I gotta talk to my boss. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. 
There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> he's gonna read a book. Once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Should we I wanna see. This is my place, right? Yeah. Should we get a shave on or should we I feel like we could use a little trim. one trim but early in the game I do like to go with a beard let's see what we got in terms of missions we got the uncle one we got the Reverend Swanson one we got Javier who's already in town We'll do uncle. We won't do uncle, but we'll do the uncle mission, if you know what I mean. I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. Good morning, Arthur. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. And you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Let's right. go. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. We better get a song.
I hate when I can't get an integral because she won't stay still. No! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. lead this horse over there. He brought him back his horse. Yay. Fun day. I tried to fucking stop the thing and it just didn't let me stop it before they ran into it. Damn it. Fe feels like I got some shit in my ear right now. I hate when that happens. Ugh. I will be right back as soon as this gets back. I'm going to go to the rush. Fuck, we got to start that all over again? Fuck. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the restroom. <laughs>
Hello, I'm back. Back from the... Back from my hiatus. My hiatus, I mean, I just had a piss. We'll probably finish this mission and then... I think call it quits, I got some shit I gotta do before Smackdown. Fuck. I hate controlling these fucking this fucking wagon. We're gonna hear this fucking song one more time. Let's do damn it. No more horse playing outside her door. I got a girl in Valentine likes to drink that fancy wine. Ugh, God kill me. And has paid for it all. Oh, the Heartbird's coming back with a vengeance right now. When are you gonna upload this VOD? This VOD will go up tomorrow. During NXT Stand and Deliver, I will probably be working on uploading the VOD. So probably about noon tomorrow it will come out. And then the next part will come out. Part 3 will come out Sunday. Sunday. Well, no, not Sunday. Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday! Maybe Sunday? No, I don't think I'll stream at all Sunday. Maybe. Maybe if I have an hour or two, because I know WrestleCon stuff isn't really going that long. I'm just helping somebody make a video, a podcast type thing, which I'll probably link. If I like the way it turns out, I'll link it. But you know, I am notoriously picky. I was just trying to impress the women. Relatable. Me too, Arthur. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Move! 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 Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that okay? I'd like to smell your sheep. I don't even know what the fuck that means, Loki. Like I'm just out here saying shit. I'm just kind of kind of fucking yapping to be honest. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. See what we have. Right. Sure you can pick up some bounties then, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, Can't believe my only viewer who ever likes to comment Ooh, left. Yes. We can get up to Absolutely Mr. tragic. Just remember, keep a low profile. Absolute tragedy. Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the state. Hey, there's a there's a nice guy collecting uh, for charity. I guarantee that will have nothing to impact the story later. Center of civilization. <laughs> Can I shoot him? Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, Why the fuck can I not move? Why the fuck can I not walk? There we go. Right, I need to get something from the store. Alright, bye, Thomas. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine wearing fair. 
Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the Red Harlow. Kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask you why. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No, ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. All right. Well, get out of the doorway. There's a fucking doorway. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. God, Uncle, Uncle got me heated. Uncle got me high as fuck tweaking. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? No. I'm not. Later, gang. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, listen to Uncle talk for like three minutes and he's like, fuck, I'm slumped. I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. Ads in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. You man, might be right a genius, Mary Beth. Right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They haven't gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. me. Thought I wouldn't find you, Tip. No. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away. <laughs> what? The law? We're alerted? No! Also, I didn't kill bro. I gotta do it again and kill bro. I hate that guy. you a fucking dick. I have a gun pointed on your fucking face! <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen? You're making a big you wanna get nuts? Jackson. Just get Let's get nuts. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts! <laughs> It's a fucking Batman reference. Sorry for all of you who think I'm just crazily rambling. It's a little Batman reference.
little little Batman reference for your head. Bing bong. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Go away right. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Arthur's such a good guy. Uncle! Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? Are you doing all you can? Huh? You looking for a Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> Use your strength to help the weak. No trouble now, please. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Long room. Damn it. Damn. Bro is taking a dookie. It's this one, but I'm gonna check this one real quick. See if there's anything funny in there. Nope, just locked. You like that, huh? Hey! Hey you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Oh! Arthur with the wombo fucking combo! You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Well, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Hey, that's my horn. Just bone it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Just chickens. I almost hit the dog and that would have been devastating for me. Me and Buddy need to talk. Please do something. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. Right. I thought about killing him. Come on. Just like Kanye West, I thought about killing you. Another Kanye reference. Two videos in, two Kanye references. Let's go. You okay, partner? <laughs> 
No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us <laughs> if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. You're a good man. Alright. We're gonna go return this horse, because I like doing good deeds in this Not game, sometimes. Man. Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent in this year old mine. Who is that? That's a fucking dude from a, um, like a TV show. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Alright, let's go take this back to Valentine, because I don't want to... No, I don't want to help you. Right now. Who's this then? Alright everybody, I think that is as good a place as any to end, um, nice little hour and a half stream more or less, um, next episode we'll pick, off, uh, pick, off, bleh, pick up in Valentine, we'll probably do that Javier mission, uh, we'll do the bounty hunting mission, and we will eventually do the Reverend Swanson mission next episode, um, I will catch all you guys later, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, and if you are a wrestling fan, have a great Wrestlemania weekend, I know I will. And I will catch you all either sun- I'm trying to do an outro! <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. I was trying to do an outro. Um, but, yeah. Um, have a great rest of your day, everybody. And I will catch you all <laughs> later. And have a good one. Peace. Do the little gun flip. Ooh, that's hard. Alright, goodbye everybody.